they've just finished celebrating a 70 year anniversary of the escape. And they have a big, big deal for that. They go back to the railway line at the spot where the raid took place. They've got a bloody great gibber there, uh, embossed, describing what took place there. And uh, at the drop of a hat, any big thing in Maribor, they've got to march out to this memorial that's 16 miles out of town uh, and have this celebration. And uh, they, I wrote this book uh, after the film in nine, I just, well, actually it was classified information for 40 years I wasn't allowed to talk about it. Uh, so after the film they told me, so I said, well, don't you get into trouble with the military? They said, no, it's only 40 years, from 1985. So I was free to write. So when I wrote it, I sent them a copy over there and gave them the, the, the uh, copyright in Slovene is to do with what they like. So they're the two versions. But come along 91, so uh, and Slovenia dropped out of Yugoslavia, became for the first time in its history a sovereign nation. The Slovenes became a sovereign nation. 91, amazing. Uh, with all their culture, they had never governed themselves. And certainly being in Yugoslavia was a long way from governing themselves. I mean, it, all the Yugoslavia was little, little Serbia. I mean, really. But the difference, we, we, out of nowhere in 1997, 98 rather, came an invitation from the, uh, their RSL for my wife and I to be their guests there for, for a week. Would we be in it? Well, what had happened, they had a gathering of all the allied, uh, well, what do you call it? Not ambassadors, uh, American, uh, English and Russian uh, troops that had been there, there uh, oh, what the hell, that's one of the worst things of getting old, you forget words, uh, invited all these blokes, but of course my mates over there said, hey, we'd better have a delegate from Australia, hadn't we? We've got a bloke called Churches, you know, even big time. And so, Ronnie and I were included. We were the guests of the uh, president. And you know, he has, he doesn't live in a, in a presidential palace. They just have his uh, entertainment center, your beautifully done up in Ljubljana, right, in beautiful rounds. And that is where you are received by the president and where you're entertained by the president. And so we had a marvelous seven days.